guys it's oaks welcome to the channel thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like subscribe share comment down below take one second of your life to help the channel my friend thank you and god bless you in this video we're gonna talk about my preview for the game on tuesday against middlesbrough away carabao cup semi-finals chelsea need to do good in the first leg and then it's gonna be easier at stamford bridge on paper of course let's just get the job done in the first leg that's what i, I wanted to say and middlesbrough are not a small team they almost got promoted last season from the championship Michael Carrick is doing an amazing job over there and we have to be very careful. They are 12 on the table in the championship, but you have to apply context behind everything. Championship, they have like uh, 24 teams. They play games like every two days. Very, very busy, very physical league and it's not easy really. So we have to be careful and go there, show some energy, kill the game early. Because every time, why do we have to wait until 50th minute before we score a goal? If we can score earlier, I think it's going to give the manager an opportunity to also put more youngsters on the pitch. Middlesbrough in the last uh, few games... In the last five games, they lost three and they only won two. The last game that they they lost was in the FA Cup third round against Aston Villa. They lost at home 1-0. But anybody can lose against Aston Villa at home. Remember that Aston Villa came to Stamford Bridge and beat Chelsea Football Club at their own backyard. Remember that. 1-0 in the Premier League this season. Fight and win! Now, let me give you my starting 11. And if you have something to say, say it in the comment. Okay? This is my opinion. It's not yours. It's not the manager's. I don't think Pochettino is going to watch this video to, to make his selection. This is what I think should happen first of all malo gusto needs to be out he's not injured or anything but let me tell you what malo gusto is at risk of getting a serious injury he's the only fullback that is fit at chelsea football club right now Rhys james out chile out marco korea out so this is one of the rare times that i will accept chelsea to play people out of positions because we have no choice but when everybody is fit i don't want to see levi Cowell playing from the left back position there were some games at the beginning of the season where you see ben she will on the bench fit 100 percent mark kukurea fit 100 percent and Pochettino continues to play Levi Cowell from the wrong position. What? What the fuck? And we know the rest. But this time around, you have no choice. And Cowell been playing from there for a little while, so he is not going to become a Ben Shewer from that position, but at least he's learning a little bit on the job so let me go with my starting 11 it's gonna be levi Cowell, tiago silva el monstro axel disassi the young alfie from the academy in the middle moises caicedo cano galaga enzo fernandez front three Mikalo Mudrik, who, by the way, got the man 
of uh, the round. What that means is every single round. Like it was uh, in the quarter final. Okay, so that round, they 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 have to name one player of the round. So in quarter final, it was Mikhail Modric. Congratulations to him. And let's uh, hope that the Ballon d'Or is going to come from that. <laughs> it starts by something very small like that. And it's going to give you more confidence. And you're going to believe in yourself. And who knows? Maybe one day, Misha is going to win the Ballon d'Or. Remember the Zerbi. Roberto de Zerbi said that he can make Mikhailo Modric a Ballon d'Or material. But that is another topic for another day. Armando Broja need to be the number nine. He scored the last game. And I think he's going to be, he's going to feel better. Just smile, man. Smile even a lot. Like he's taking it too personal. When he misses a chance, his head dropped. And uh, that's what uh, Mauricio Pochettino is saying. Like, hey, you have to smile. Don't take it so seriously. You miss one chance, there will be other chances. So he got discouraged a lot when he misses a chance. The body language is not good. And Mauricio Pochettino being saying that. So he's going to be my number one, number nine. And I will start with uh, um, Noni Madweke. Everybody is going to say because Sterling was good, you have to play him. But remember, we have another game this weekend. A big London derby against Fulham. So... We need some fresh legs. And this game came after three days. So I think we have to save somebody like uh, Sterling and some other players. It doesn't matter, man. I don't care if you started or you, or you came off the bench. All I want is to win and win games. So if we play you in the second, the second half and you bring a you bring us a goal or you win us a game. It's all the same, okay? If you're a coach, what are you telling your team before the big game? I would tell my team, if you lose, I, won't, I don't want to see your face again, ever again. That's pretty harsh. All right, people. So you let me know. And, and one of the things that I don't want to get on Pochettino a lot, right? If you look at the list of injuries... Or people are not gonna be there. Ben Shewell still recovering. He's not gonna be there. Uh, there's no problem with Robert Sanchez. Of course, he's still recovering. But we have another world class. Yeah, Petrovic is world class, and um, we don't have Kukurea. Badiashile also still injured. Ugo Chuko still injured. Rhys James injured. Christopher Nkunku, injured. Nico Jackson, African Cup of Nations. Trevor Chaluba, injured. Wesley Fofana, injured. So, my friend, from this injury list, we can make a team. And this team of injured players can beat even the first team here. The first 11 that we have currently fit in the team. So, sometimes... When you try to make theories and try to point fingers on other people, you have to use simple common sense. Any team in the world is going to struggle with this kind of injuries. And it's not like the bench only or yeah, academy product or anything. These are starters. These are world-class starters at Chelsea. Ben Shewa. Champions League winner, Rhys James, Champions League winner. Look at all of them there. Bowlers. You, you make a team of Chelsea injuries, they're going to beat even Arsenal or Manchester City. So sometimes you have to think outside the box and, and be a human for a little while, okay? Use common sense. It's an absolute disgrace. All right. My predictions for this game, it's going to be a tough game, but Chelsea to win 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one to Chelsea Football Club. Armando Bloody Broja is going to score. Yeah, back-to-back -back from my boy, 
Armando Broja. And um, who else is going to score for me? Tomorrow, we might see a lot of youngsters from the academy because it's going to be even difficult to fit to have some people from the bench. Okay, so I think Armando Broja to score and Cole Palmer, when he comes in the second half, he's going to score the second goal. But I don't know. The decision is for Pochettino to make. It's not me. This is just my opinion. All right. Leave your comment. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. God bless you. Think outside the box. And see you next time. Mm -hmm.